Yo guys, welcome to episode 10 of our FIFA 18 Manchester City career mode. I hope everyone is having a great day. As always, in today's episode, we have Burnley at home in the Premier League and then Birmingham City away from home in the round of 16 stage of the Carabao Cup. The last episode wasn't that great. We got defeated by AS Monaco in the group stage of the Champions League and a 0-0 against Stoke, even though we should have won against Stoke. But hopefully we can make today's episode much better then the last, so let's kick it off with Burnley at home. Let's quickly see how well they're doing in the Premier League. They're down in 14th, only two defeats out of eight games, which isn't bad for a team like Burnley. So let's get into it and start this episode with three points. Raheem Sterling to the right-hand side. Goretzka up to Aguero. Goretzka's going to continue his run into the box. Oh, a header into the box and the keeper comes out. I didn't really expect um, Goretzka to actually get his head on that ahead of the defender, but he did. And it was a dangerous one. The keeper had to come out and punch. Isco forward to Aguero. That's a nice pass. Leroy Sane overlap from Mendy on the left-hand side. We're going to whip it to the back post. Raheem Sterling's arriving. White shirt under it. Ward does well. Brilliant start to this game. Only five minutes in. And we have a much dominant team. Isco whips it in. It's a great corner. Who was that? Goretzka, I think it was. It was a powerful header, but in the end, a comfortable save for Heaton. Yaya Torre wins possession. Here we go. We're going to go on a run with Yaya Torre and have a shot with Yaya Torre. Straight at the goalkeeper. Easy save. I love using Yaya Torre. As soon as he gets the ball, you know you can do damage with just Yaya Torre of that pass on the ball because he is so strong. And he's such a strong runner with the ball. Here we go. Goretzka out to the right-hand side. Not a great pass, was it? But Danilo now on the ball. Yaya Torre is go out to the left-hand side in Mendy. Can we whip in an early cross to the back post? Yes, we can. Raheem Sterling, but Ward again getting there ahead of Raheem Sterling. Another corner. We are putting them under real pressure early on in this game. Another good corner off the crossbar. Who's under that? Aguero. Easy save for Heaton. I'm not sure who got the first header onto the crossbar, but wow, that really should be 1-0. Burnley on the left-hand side here. Brady's obviously got a brilliant left foot. We're going to slide in with Danilo, I think it is. It's a dangerous one. The keeper does brilliantly well. Wow. That is brilliant goalkeeping. Surely, if the keeper didn't come out, that really would have been 1-0 Burnley with their first attack of the game. Burnley moving forward here. Vokes to the left-hand side. Cork, I thought he was going to play it down line to Brady. I think it was, but now it gets to Brady. A very good cross to the back post. Header towards goal. Easy save, but he's near post for Edison. Goretzka, Yaya Torre, forward here to Isco, now Raheem Sterling just doesn't get through, the four does well, and now Cork, oh I thought I nicked it away from him, but Burnley still on the ball here, moving forward, playing some decent football, the four, Yaya Torre, he is just an absolute beast, it's such a shame about his age, because I know his stats, I don't know if they're decreasing already, but I know they will be soon, and what a pass to Leroy Sani, short into Aguero, first time finish, shoot, oh my god, I wanted him to shoot, I pressed shoot way before it even got to him. I don't even know why it took a touch, but it's ended up in the back of the net, and it's a very good goal. That pass through to Leroy Sani from Yaya Torre. Absolutely brilliant. Ten minutes before the break, 1-0. Yaya Torre winning possession yet again, and we're going to go on a run with Yaya Torre. Play it through to Aguero. Left-hand side is Leroy Sani. Here we go. We're going to whip it to the back post. Raheem Stone is going straight onto his head. Ben Lee gets in the way. Burnley... Been very good in defence in this game so far, but we have got through, I don't know why I'm saying that, we've broken through quite a long, but crosses, they've been getting everything away. Here we go, Isco, now Leroy Sane, overlap from Mendy, can we put in an early cross to the back post? Oh my god, Aguero, 2-0, what a cute little finish, what a cute little finish, 2-0, that surely has to be game over, 5 minutes before the break, what a cross, and like I said, what a cute little finish that was, look at this. Mendy with a brilliant cross, no one marking him, keeper no chance, 2-0, has to be game over. Brady on the ball, plays it through here to Cork, and he tries to play it through to Vokes, but Mangala is in the way. Been very solid in defence in this game so far, I'm very happy with my defensive performance in the first 45 minutes, because so far in FIFA 18, I found it very, very difficult, even before changing the sliders, to actually defend on this game. Here we go. Can we get an attack going before the referee blows his half-time whistle? Lee Rossani. Nope. Walters. Oh no, it's going to go out for a throw. And I think that's going to wrap up the first 45 minutes. That left-hand side. Possession at 63%. His go for to Lee Rossani. Overlap from Mendy. It's come just a bit too late though. 
Now Goretzka out to Sterling. First time to Aguero. Can we hit this across the keeper with Aguero? Good save from Heaton. I'm not sure if it was going in or not, but dangerous strike. Had to be saved. Heaton felt Brady's coming off. Just been booked, so they obviously don't want to go down to 10 men. Leroy Son is going to whip it in. Who's under that? Goretzka, I think it was, but Cork again from another corner kick gets the ball away. Danilo on the ball. Oh, that's a nice ball. Didn't really want it for Raheem Sterling. And I wanted it for Goretzka. But Goretzka now on the ball. Out to the left-hand side. Mendy straight down line to Leroy Sane. Poor pass. Very poor pass. Leroy Sane had so much space. But now Walters on the ball for Burnley on the right-hand side. Am I going to catch him with Mangala? Nope, it's a good cross on the edge of the box. His folks lays it down. Plays it out to his right-hand side in Barnes. And Goretzka tracking back and doing well. Need to grab that third goal because... 20 minutes left. I know it's only Burnley, but I still feel this game is not over yet. 15 minutes remaining. I think next dead ball situation, we're going to make some subs, especially in attacking positions, just to try and push on and grab that third goal. Danilo, no runners, to be honest, but Yaya Torre, Aguero, who play it to his left-hand side in Leroy Sane, get it onto his left foot and hit it a goal. No, we've beaten two defenders here. Short into Mendy. First time cross to the back post. Raheem Sterling. Poor head up, goal kick, substitute coming up. We get ourselves three points here against Burnley with a very solid performance. Nine times out of ten, my defending has been rubbish on FIFA 18 so far. So I'm really pleased about how well I play. Let's see if we can repeat it in our next game, which is Birmingham City in the Carabao Cup. Obviously going to be a rotated side, but still should easily advance into the next round. Birmingham down the right hand side here we're going to slide in brilliant tackle no it's not Lau gets in the way a little one two into the box to Adams and thankfully it's an easy save for Bravo wow I thought I made a tackle but he somehow got a pass to his teammate and in the end they got a shot away at goal but thankfully it was a tame effort an easy save for Bravo Bernardino forward here to Fabian Delft can we get out to Zinchenko yes we can a little ball roll onto his right foot oh he's done it nicely overlap from Kyle Walker oh he's jumped over the tackle first time finish from Kyle Walker Wow, what a goal. I didn't really expect that to happen with Zinchenko. Him to, I wanted him to pass the ball. But instead of passing the ball, he jumped over the sliding tackle. And then he passed the ball. So I pressed the, the pass button about five seconds before he actually done it. Because he jumped over the sliding tackle. Brilliant skill there. Jumped over the sliding tackle. And a brilliant finish from the right back. 1-0. Gundogan into Zinchenko. Back to Gundogan. Out to his left-hand side in Delft. Now David Silva up to Jesus. A little bit of space here. We're going to try to curl up with Jesus. Past the post. Oh, what an opportunity. Look at the space Jesus had. Just that little turn and a curler. Don't know if the keeper would have had it covered. But wow, what an opportunity that was. Yet again, 39 minutes played. Like I said a couple seconds ago. It is all us just looking to grab that second goal and kill this game off. And we're on the attack again. Fabian Delph out to Silva. Do you know what? I'm going to try and get onto his left foot and have a shot with David Silva. Good save from Stockdale. Fabian Delph. David Silva. There's no space at the minute in midfield. But Gundogan. Zinchenko. Why are, you running why are you running central? Why are you not out wide? Fabian Delph into David Silva. Try and turn the defender onto his left foot. And hit this across the keeper for 2-0. Stockdale with a good save. But it's going to fall here to Jesus. Why is he out wide? It should be Zinchenko there. But on the edge of the box is Fernandinho, now Gundogan, there's just no space, all blue shirts, all blue shirts, Fernandinho, Gundogan, can we find David Silva to the left hand side, turn the defender, oh it's beautiful, across the keeper, comfortable save for Stockdale, Gundogan on the ball, plays it short into Gardner, a striker goal falls back to him, wow how lucky was that, Bravo had to be on high alert, and what a save because it was such a powerful strike, it fell back to him so quickly and it was going in, Brilliant save from Bravo. You know Gardner can hit him. He can hit him from range. And what a strike. But what a save. Corner comes in. And easy clearance. And here we go. Going to fall to Jesus. Look at the space he's got to run into. Currently three against one. But they are not covering. What are they doing? He's coming across now. Couple of step overs. Inside. On his left foot. Decent save. And if he didn't fall over. It would have fallen straight back to him. But another good save from Stockdale. And now Ndoy. Out to the right hand side. Now into Adams. Going to play it back out to the right-hand side. He is overlap from the right-back. Jenkinson puts in a very dangerous cross. Get it away. Get it away. What on earth is going on with the freaking 
response of the players to the buttons you press. It is an absolute joke. Diaz now forward here to Bernardo Silva. Can we find Jesus? He's just standing still. Right, we've got seven minutes. I mean, you can say it does look like we are going to win the game, but it's only 1-0. One, one attack, one goal. Can change the game. Out to Jesus is this. No, it's Diaz. Now in the middle. Oh, it's gone right out to Bernardo Silva. Can we get a shot away? Bernardo Silva gets blocked. Going to fall here to Diaz. We're going to put a little dink into the box to the back post. Kill the game. No. Going to fall here to Fernandinho. Turn the defender. And... No, there's no space. I was thinking about turning it onto his right foot and getting a shot away, but short into Fabian Delph on the edge of the box. Oh, that's a nice little pass to Jesus. Can we get across to the back post? Yes, we can. Kill the game, Diaz. Oh, off the line. Off the line. Who was that? I'm not even sure who it was for Birmingham, but that really would have killed the game. What a header as well. What a cross. And it was a good header, but a brilliant clearance off the line. It finishes 1-0 here in the Carabao Cup against Birmingham City, although it should have been a couple more, but I'm not going to complain. We are through, of course. Birmingham really didn't show up to this game. First half, they were dreadful, but second half, they were a little bit better and got forward a few times, but nothing really worrying me. And because of this terrible performance from Birmingham, we are still going strong in the Carabao Cup. So after picking up a good win against 15th place Burnley, we move back to the top four, four points away from Chelsea, who are now the only undefeated side in the league. It does look like they are going to be up there at the end of the season, fighting for the title. Hopefully, we'll be right there with them. Everton and Brighton still without a win to their names, but Everton yet to play their ninth game, which is Arsenal. As you can see, Arsenal, along with Everton, have only played eight games but overall a very good episode two solid wins even though the second win was only against Birmingham but a very solid win against Burley in the next episode we're away at West Brom in the Premier League that's going to be a tough game always struggle to play against West Brom they're a tough physical and solid team as well and we have Anderlet our fourth group stage game in the Champions League and our only win in the group stage so far came against Anderlet so hopefully we can repeat that in the next episode. And we have been drawn against Chelsea in the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup. But that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.